Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. They have thrown down the gauntlet with that anthem. Now to match it. There are plenty looking forward to seeing this, a capacity crowd here. Well, get ready for some high-grade football, Peter. Two strong teams, as you say, full of wonderful individual talent. And we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football. As to whether we'll see a high-scoring contest, that's a little harder to predict. I'm not complaining, though, because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface, and that's a fine start in itself. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Joshua Kimmich. In many ways, the ultimate modern fullback in that he contributes just as much offensively as he does defensively. He seems to have a great instinctive understanding of when to move forward, and, and that means he rarely gets caught out of position on the counter-attack. He should be a key player for this team. He would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Looks to drop one in. Keira. Gnabry. Kimmich. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Look, there'll be no complaints at all with quick service like that. It's so difficult to defend when the ball comes in so swiftly. But you can't question the finishing in this instance. I think, though, there's enough grounds for them to keep working at it. Hoists it forward. Gets away from his opponent. William Carvalho. Bruno Fernandes. First quarter of an hour gone. Portugal still without an attempt on target. It's a goal kick.
And it's played forward. Has gone out. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Nelson Semedo. Bernardo Silva. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Shapes the shoot! Goal! Portugal! No space, no problem. You just cannot stop him. Oh, this fella's as slippery as a needle the way he freed himself to score. I mean, for that defence, it was a case of, oh, you've got him, no, you don't. Brilliant. Portugal break the deadlock. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Keira. And it's Canabri. It's gone for a throw-in. Cruz. Defending of the desperate variety. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Massive leap! Oh, I just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Bernardo Silva. Gets on the end of it. That intervention was very necessary. Kimmich. Bernardo Silva. He's pinged one through here. Save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. In for a header. Try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Cristiano Ronaldo certainly could have and should have made more of that. Rudiger drives it forward. And it's Sané. Balls out on the left now. Played in, but... And a header! to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Portugal can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Schuller. Kimmich. It's a promising run he's making on the right. Gorgeous control there. Decent ball. Sané. 
Sané. And Sané! And the follow-up. He's missed, but by that far... Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Sane. It's a good run down the left-hand side. And that's a goal kick. They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Schuller. And we hit half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain the momentum now and finish the job. Portugal head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. And the action is back on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Sarri. Sané, whipped in, and he's there to clear it, and it's Tony Kroos, good challenge, he just stood firm, he wasn't very far from making something happen by himself, lovely to see. Defence has got rid of that. Kimmich. Royce. Gnabry. Gnabry going full steam down the flank. Oh, that's neat. Gnabry with the delivery. Dashing forward at pace. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Out to the right. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And here's Canabri. Kimmich. Played out to the right. Royce with the cross. Semedo attempts a clearance. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Just has to be done. Towering header! The clearance and very necessary. Ruben Neves tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. He's through. And that has been cleared. Royce. Royce goes looking. Pressure is relentless, it's a very, very high press. Yeah, because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity, a trigger by one player for the others to follow, and designed to force opposition mistakes. He's had a shot!
There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's got to be a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Kimmich. And it's Royce. Finds himself eased off the ball. Germany are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Into the box. And he's there to cut it out. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Royce. A really good feat. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Got a shot away. Oh, and that should have been two. Cristiano Ronaldo was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game, and that should have gone in. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to, uh, to hold on for the support. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. <laughs> Portugal just have to run down the clock. Kimmich. Werner. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Semedo. Up he gets! Oh, just needed a better contact. And there goes the final whistle. Portugal, hold on. It's a narrow squeak. Good luck, some judgment. 1-0 the score at the final whistle. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.